Hey guys, this is Chris. Um, I am back and I am ready to start discussing how to create effect modules for uh, Vixen 3. Um, now, for this tutorial and basically all the tutorials moving forward, um, I'm pretty much going to consider the output module tutorial as a prerequisite. Uh, reason being is that tutorial goes into details about um, the basics of the anatomy of a module, um, how to create a module, um, how to set up the, the C Sharp workspace, um, etc. This way, as long as uh, I can go under the assumption that you have the basics down, we don't have to cover uh, the details of the basics and we can kind of keep this uh, tutorial moving along. Now, I just want to show you my setup that I have for Vixen 3 just for testing. Um, I just have a controller set up with a couple channels. Uh, no big deal. This is actually the uh, output module from the output module tutorial. Um, and in channels and groups, uh, we have our assigned uh, channels. Um, and I also created a group node for. Uh, in this case it just contains all the channels. The reason why I wanted to create a group node is when we test our effect we want to be able to um, test whether it's assigned to a single channel or to a group of channels we want to make sure that the the effect works. Um, I do also have a display preview set up uh, nothing exciting just uh, our four channels um, put onto the canvas. So with that basic setup, let's just open up a new time sequence um, and discuss a little bit on what an effect uh, is. Um, if you remember from the output module tutorial, uh, we said that output modules receive a series of um, commands that were created from an effect module. So basically when we're creating an effect module, that is what we are doing. We are creating a series of commands um, and assigning them to the channels that they are assigned to. So for example, if we take this set level effect, what this is doing is this is creating a command for each of the channels within the all channels node um, and then Vixen, uh, when we go ahead and click play, uh, that will send those commands to the output module. Now, a couple things I want to want you to be aware of uh, right off the bat. When we d double click this, this is an effect editor. Um, this will be the, the discussion of the next tutorial. I just want you to understand that the effect editor module is not part of the effect. Uh, what is part of the effect are, are parameters. If your uh, effect that you're going to be creating uh, needs any kind of user input for channel level, color, uh, time span, anything like that, you would uh, make sure that your effect module contains parameters um, and those parameters will tell Vixen uh, what effect editor to open up. So for example in this set level um, effect module there are two parameters. One is a level parameter uh, that the user can set. Uh, the other is a color parameter that the user can set. Um, now every effect editor or I'm sorry every effect module does not necessarily need to have any parameters um, but I think you're going to find that that most of the effects created will. So um, let's end this part right here and in the next part we will actually start uh, programming our module.